powder in your nose? Hey, what's that noise? Oh no! Someone left the bathtub running! Quick, grab the cat and run! We turned off that faucet, right? Oh, it's just not safe for a cat these days. Good, we found dry land. Let's just try to get situated for now. It's time for a lipstick break. I didn't mean like that. But it is a nice color. How about we spread the love? This is why you never skip lip day. Ooh, pretty. And the final touch. Hello, kitty. As for you, well, you got an apple. Ooh, it's got a worm. A gummy worm. Yum. Jealous? Well, you should be. Because when you've got an apple, you can make yourself a new stamp. Look, a cat's paw. Add some paint. Now give me paw and keep it coming. Oh, she's got a money gun with a full tank. Come on, spread the wealth. Show us the money. Who knew roofing jobs were so pricey? Let's add a new roof to your to-do list, too. Hey, these little squares are just what we need. Line them in a row like little shingles. And look, it looks just like a rainbow. Well, kinda. Hey, got any spare change? Let's stretch it out. Oh, we can go bigger than that. Wow. You know, they do say that money opens doors. But we're going for the direct approach. How are you going to keep the cold out? Ah, once again, the swamp provides. And look. It's practically a perfect fit. You're never fully dressed without a crown. So, let's take some selfies. But we know who's the real queen of the castle. It's Kitty. But who needs a crown when you've got socks? Sure comes in handy if you want privacy. Uh, maybe you should go inside? Whoops! But first, she likes to make an entrance. Fox Butler, you know the drill. It's time to strut your stuff on the red carpet. Come on, strike a pose. Smile for the camera. And sorry, she doesn't do autographs. But if that's got you seeing red, you just need a few more colors. Now let's get stepping. Uh, how about we speed things up? Now you can always go over the rainbow. Uh-oh, you're locked outside. Well, we can make something to help. And I don't think that's a doorknob. Add a cover. And some numbers. And we've got a payment terminal. 
Oh, you need to insert your card. And you're in. But that rat's a different story. Uh, don't worry. Some cheese will distract him. But we don't want to scare him off. He's going to be our new doorknob. So let's take a look inside. Pink walls? <laughs> Cute, but he can do better. Fox Butler, we need some pink fur. Besides, this will get your legs summer ready. Now let's staple it on the walls. Let's skip ahead. Ah, much better. How about you? Any decorating ideas? Um. Oh, good idea! Ivy! Hopefully not the poison kind. Ooh, that's one tough plant. Oh, I think it likes you. Well, now let's hang it on the wall. It's like your very own indoor garden. Next, we could use some toys. It must take a lot to impress her. Like our silver platter special, a giant teddy bear. Add a pillow, and he's the best seat in the house. Let's have a snack break. Peppers. Careful, that one packs a punch. Great, those were his best jeans. Well, now it can be his best pillow. Stuff it up with all these stuffed toys. It's the stuffed helping the stuffless. This would be such a proud moment. If only he was still wearing pants. Next up, we'll need a baby mobile. Don't worry, she can cover it. I guess everyone has their price, even babies. Now just hang it up and enjoy. Oh, what's in the box? Roaches? Well, at least we've got the box. And a few other things to keep inside. Make some holes and it's a new cat toy. It's hot. Could use some water. Hmm, let's not waste the leftovers. Place it in the golden toilet. And your cat can have a drink. Ooh, shrimp too. Well, you've got a plastic bottle. And some water. So bring it all together. Add a plastic container, and it's a water dispenser. Don't forget the snacks. Let's show the kitties their new home. Start with a drink and a light seafood lunch. Ooh, babies sure know how to live. Now squeeze in a nice cat nap. Come on, kitty. You're queen of this castle, so enjoy your throne. How about a snack? It's your favorite kibble. And try out your new toy. It's almost perfect. But I think both cats need one more thing. Wow. 
each other. Aw, isn't that cute? Cat love is the best kind of love. Now they're all one big happy family. Put her there, pal. Ah, what a happy ending. Unfortunately, things aren't over yet. Looks like the cat catcher's on the prowl. And I think he's about to pounce. Here. It's a cute little kitten who lives in a tree. Time for a ride in your basket. Cue the balloons. Ah, flying. It's the only way to travel. The tree kitten has landed. Now let's bundle you up like a little burrito. Let's clean you up. We should start with those ears. This calls for heavy duty stuff. Good thing we've got a fingertip toothbrush. Really get in those whiskers and scrub those messy paws. Almost done. You can dry off and cosplay as a bunny at the same time. Meanwhile, we've got a special surprise for you. Put some holes in this milk carton and add some udders on top. Now it's like he's got his own personal cow. But around here, we go all out for snack time. We've got food, we've got water, we've got buttons. And the piece de resistance, the meat bar. Of course, you might be in the mood for sausages. Who said cats don't like dogs? Especially hot dogs. Now it's time to have some fun with this long tunnel. Add them to some cardboard boxes. Now our tree kitten has his very own tunnel system. After all, why should hamsters have all the fun? Let's add a little personalization while we're at it. There's no doubt what furry friend lives here. Anyone in the mood for tiny billiards? He'll write the great kitty novel on this. What else? Here's an idea. Grab an old t-shirt. Tie up the ends and hang it up. It's a kitty hammock. Throw on some pillows. Now grab a rubber glove. You only need one. Add it around a cup and fill it up with sand. It's great if you want a tiny chair or a moderate sized hand. Add a reminder of his favorite person, and it's time to explore. I told you he liked her. He plays pool by his own rules. Ah, such a bright sunny day for napping. Hey, be careful on top of that. Even if you can land on your feet. Let's have fun with these paw prints. Add epoxy resin. Decorate any way you want and then add them on a chain. It's a friendship bracelet. Well, a necklace at his size. I've heard of a monkey on your shoulder, but this is better. Run some string through a shower glove's fingertips. Our kitty's not the only one with retractable claws. 
<laughs> now we need to blow up a balloon. Well, that works. Make four of these and tie to each of the strings. It's like a baby mobile and a cat toy rolled in one. Cut up some foam around and cardboard. It's a tiny sink, complete with a tiny mirror. We can even cut up a straw to make a faucet. Add a dial. And what's a bathroom without a bath? Uh, gesundheit. Is that rain tinsel? How'd that get up there? Hmm, this tub could use some tinsel and pom-poms. After all, cats don't really do water. What the? I don't think your dolls will miss this garland. Time to see if our kitten likes his new water closet. Probably should powder his nose while we're here. Next up, take a sock and put it on a glass. Fill it up with some soil and seeds. And then, some more soil. We'll need to speed things up a bit. Wrap it up and add googly eyes. Why not? Now that you know how to make it, you'll never run out of delicious cat grass. This cat house needs a doorway. Now take the bristles off some toothbrushes and add it to the door. Grooming now just takes a few steps. Time to get out an old plastic bottle. Cut off the end. Now add some hot glue in the middle. Reattach with some string and pull out the neck. Now take a ball and attach with some more hot glue. Just pull it down and it pops open. Now add kibble. And behold, your cat can have treats with the flick of a paw. Why not make one for yourself while you're at it? It's the best of both worlds. Your kitty gets a ball to play with and snacks. Mmm, chips. Eh, never mind, at least we got the two. Tie some jute rope around it. Lasso it up. Add a bunch to the side of one of the boxes. Now your little rock climber can get some exercise. It's also a fun way of going up without stairs. And it's the perfect place for just hanging around. This cute tiny candy ball's the perfect thing for our cute tiny cat. Got something in your throat? Ooh, a fish skeleton. Dip it in some paint and decorate the cat's house. That, or just make some fishbone broth. Seaweed in her hair? What, is she a mermaid? Well, it's fish related, so on the box it goes. So tell me, kitty, do you like your new pad? You can just relax and scratch an itch or go on a little adventure. After all, you're the king of this castle. Who knew that hallways could be so fun? Oh no! He thinks I'm a mouse! Why did I eat all that cheese? He'll be in his equally adorable kitty trailer. Ah, just kidding. This kitty's a real professional. Meow, amazing stuff. Catch you next time. Oh, thank you, Mr. Ceiling. It's a pet bag. Perfect for your feline friend. And look, there's already a cat inside. Let's see if we can lure him out. Does Kitty want a sausage? 
Look, you're a regular king of the beasts. Of course, cats are practically royalty already. How about a swing ride, your majesty? Oh, there's nothing sadder than a cat person without a cat. Luckily, it looks like that's about to change. Oh, it's a kitty. And she's so fluffy. Something tells me that's not rain. Whatever it is, it's coming with a chance of kittens. Ooh, are you having a tom or a queen? Two of each? Mommies in the making need lots of love and attention. Especially when they start shedding. Don't worry, our cat brush will fix you right up. This'll catch all that excess hair. Ew. And disposal couldn't be easier. Who wants a paw rub? Let's tuck you in and count some white mice. <laughs> huh, this curtain just sparks inspiration. From table to fort, a cat fort. Complete with a big fluffy teddy bear. Bring those two bear paws together. And keep them that way. Add a cushion. It's your own little chair in your own little corner. Wow, construction's thirsty work, you know. No, but save some water. It's just what our toilet water dish needs. So fresh and clean, you'll want a sip for yourself. Don't forget some TP, always comes in handy. After all, accidents do happen. Some kibble will pair great with all this water. Oh, there's a prize. Oh, we found Nemo. Of course, every fish needs a bowl. Why not add a little island in the middle? Just add water, too. Now it's all ready for our robot fish. Round and round they go. Ooh, careful! Oh, I think you broke that brush. No matter, those bristles look all right. Just add some glue and it's a new scratching post. Wow, you sure go through a lot of brushes. <laughs> Ugh, we need to get a litter box in here. In the meantime, Ew. it's time for a little 52 pickup. Ew. Looks like she's got an idea. And just in time, too. Start by cutting a little door on the side. <laughs> Maybe something in this old Christmas box will help. No, not this. Not that. Aha! Our tiny Christmas tree. I knew it wasn't such a bad little tree after all. In fact, we'll need a few to cover up the sides. Just lay out the green carpet and a plastic bag. Don't forget to glue it all together. Add some sand, like every litter box needs. Uh, gravity is just not your friend today. But cardboard is far more agreeable. You can make it into all sorts of new things. All it needs is some old Christmas lights. And why not add a pillow at the bottom? Aww. 
I think your bird's shedding. <laughs> Must be catching. Eh, loose feathers means crafting supplies. Add this to a string and add some beads. Let's hang these up like a beaded curtain. And it's the perfect place for all your old gum. We should add a pillow on top. And look, there's even a door! We'll need stairs, unless cats can fly. Ooh, nice pom-pom. Can we borrow it? A few of these will brighten up the doorway. Oh, I think Kitty wants to help. Uh, maybe not. Either way, this broom is just what we needed. Take an empty box and fill it up with a bunch of bristles. Pour a little cement on the bottom. Not too much. We want those bristles sticking out so Kitty can play with them. Uh-oh. Hope we didn't use up all our brooms. Hey, there's something in the plant pot. Oh, it helps you make paw prints. And we've got plenty of paws. This is going right in our collage. Ooh, beach balls on tap. Now that's fancy. But let's not forget about all that string either. Wrap it around and glue it into place. Now all we need is something to stand it on. And something sharp. Don't worry, I said we've got them on tap. Cut an opening. It'll help get the ball out and your kitty cat in. Wow, someone tell that ostrich we found her egg. It looks like it's ready to hatch. Let's help. Ooh, confetti. And a cute baby duck. Sure had a lot of room in there. Mm -hmm. Looks like someone's got a new best friend. Meanwhile, let's have fun with all this laundry. These green tights are just what we needed. Start by folding one into the other. And tie them to these chair legs. You've got a little hammock right in your room. <laughs> so who wants to try it out? Any takers? What happened to our feline friend? Well, at least we've got a sock. So many holes. Let's make some more! Take these tubes and add frills toward the end. <laughs> Accessorize and your kitty friend's got a brand new outfit. Put your paw through and you're photo ready. Perfect time for a snack break. But first, let's have some fun with the container. We really just need the bottom. It works even better than tracing paper. Draw the outline and then color it in. When you're finished, cut it out. Leave some room to punch a hole in at the top. Now we just need to add some heat. This will shrink things down to size. It's the right size for our new necklace. All dressed up for a nice night at home. <laughs> your brand new cat home. Let's explore. Wow, those cats know how to live. Guess somebody's got some cat scratch fever. 
Now that's a bear hug. Time to descend the stairs like you just had a makeover. And there's so many places to catnap. But I think this is her favorite spot. <laughs> Remember to order that big liter of milk and a 20-pound salmon. Good. Now, does the cat want anything? Pretty cool stuff. Catch you next time. I guess our pup could use some boots, too. Take the air out of a balloon. Hmm. Try them on these paws for size. To keep it in place, tie on a ribbon. <laughs> With these booties, slime is no match for this pup. <laughs> Careful with that lollipop. Oh no! Uh-oh, candy isn't puppy food. Whew, close call. Next time, this cool tool should keep it safe. But let's make one for the dogs. Wanna lick? You know you want to. Now it's time for a little manicure. You know, it helps if you keep still. You're not supposed to lick it. Hmm, maybe Princess Peach can help. She just needs a little makeover. Now, make some slits on the back. Time to hang up that pup. Now those paws will stay nice and steady. And it's great for walks too. Great sandcastle! Hey, watch out! At least we got a nice paw print. And we know how to make it last. Fill it up with a pink glue gun. Now cover it up with white glue. When it dries, it could be a name tag. It's like a buried treasure game in a cup. Clean it off. And give your pup her very own Sandy Paw necklace. Want to go for a walk? Aw, you hurt your paw. Let's get comfy. Fill a big box with pillows. And some wheels will get it moving. But we can't forget the seat belts. Your chariot awaits. Let's go for a ride. Brings a whole new meaning yeah. to Mario Kart. Yeah, woohoo! Someone's left Mario a few surprises. Well, let's hope our scooper is feeling hungry. Brace yourself, pup. It's bath time. Probably shouldn't have said anything. It's okay. Grab a plastic plate and a glue gun. Now draw up some shapes. Ooh, stars, mushrooms, even a mystery box. And cover it all with peanut butter. Now look who's coming back. While you're here, why not enjoy a nice shower?
Ooh, it's laundry day for that bed. Or better yet, let's make a new one. Let's add some polka dots. And a pop tube around the rim. Ooh, the bed comes with bite. But at least it's got a soft center. Why don't you try it out? It's okay. Its bark is worse than its bite. I think someone's been shedding. Oh, it's the dog. Seems obvious now. Time for our handy dandy pet brush. It'll collect all this extra fur. And cleanup couldn't be easier. But let's not waste all this nice fur. Add some color. How about red? A few pokes and it's a new hat. And look, it's just your size. Mario's been a good boy. He's earned a treat. And he's not the only one. Take out the biscuit mold and fill it with treats. Oh, broccoli. Now add some yogurt too. Make sure you fill it up the whole bone. Plop them out and give your pup some treats. Hey, watch where you're aiming that. You're getting your food all over her. How about this? Carve a pomelo. Try to cut around the polka dots. Now she's got her own helmet to protect her. Cool toys! But what to play with first? Aha! What's more fun than Mario? Why, he'll make you a new toy! Add cones to the top of this bowl. Give them a nice coat of paint. Ooh, it's a spiny shell. And look! It holds all of your toys at once! The best part? You can wear it! Also, makes a great kneecap. She's gonna sleep good tonight! Watch your step, Mario! Not again! Ooh, this should help you see in the dark! Place it on your pup, and she'll always stay in sight. Wow, it's hot. Want to go visit that penguin level? How about this? Grab a pool noodle. And poke some holes in a line. Add some paper cones on the back. Plug in one end, add a hose to the other. Okay, turn on the water. And now we're keeping cool. Check your map, Mario. That princess should be close. Ooh, wow, it's a mermaid peach. Too bad she's taken. Calm down, Bowser. She just needed a plumber. What a mess! Good thing he's got Luigi to help. It's a messy job, but someone's got to do it. Look, he's left us a clam. 
<laughs> Pearl included. This should really spruce up this seat. Now let's add a tail. A fishnet's always fashionable. Especially when you add some glitter. This brings new meaning to coin scales. For the final touch, let's spruce up these plungers. Mm, licorice is so sweet and useful too. Heat it up and you can write with it. Or draw up a familiar face. Add a stick and it's a lollipop. Mm -hmm. Unless, of course, you'd prefer a pair of cake toppers. <laughs> this is why I drink straight from the bottle. But a bottomless cup can still be fun. Draw something on clear tape. Place on the cup. Add light to the other end. It's a mini projector in the palm of your hand. Really comes in handy when making murals. Just needs one final touch. Ah, uh, her lips! Let's just hope Peach isn't watching. Look at that pile. What could be underneath? It's a balloon! And even better, toilet paper. Huh? Let's bring these two together. A few stickers couldn't hurt either. Just a few more layers. And we're almost done. Once it hardens, you can pop the balloon. Add a face and it's a ghost. And a pretty neat lampshade too. Of all the days for you to forget your shoes to work. These blocks owe us time for a craft. Add gelatin and soda to make a block inside. With enough colors, you can make pixel art. And look, they're so squishy. More importantly, they're good enough to eat. Careful now! Oh no, we need to get organized and fast. Let's take some cardboard and make a box. Hmm, it still needs that special touch. Great idea! That stash brings it all together. You're now the proud owner of a candy machine. Huh? Your next treat's just a button push away. Ooh, more treasures, like this plastic box. Works great for tracing things. Wow, it's a perfect likeness. Now let's shrink it down to size. Told you to eat your mushrooms. Who else should we trace? King Koopa dones it looks so tough now. Okay, maybe just a little. Well, these walls have seen better days. Let's fix them up. Some paper plates can cover these holes. Line them up together and they look like tiles. Or if you prefer, giant pixels. Hey, was that a cup? Let's follow it. You know, I'd pick from the top. Never mind. 
Let's make some cuts in this paper cup. Uh -huh. Wrap up two bottle caps together. And hook them up to the cup. And start rolling. Now we've got a mushroom with a need for speed. So anyone up for a race? What's in here? Coins, shell? Careful with that. It's... Oh, and Bowser. Don't cry, Mario. There's always Pauline. Well, we can use this photo for our next craft. Make a hole and add a balloon on back. Tape it down and add something to push. Now she can blow you a big bubble? Oh no, the sky is falling. That chicken was right. Wait, no, it's just cardboard. Hmm, let's make some mystery boxes. Stack them up together in a row. So, what are you waiting for? Let's collect some coins. Hey, don't sit there. Those are Yoshi's eggs. Great, now what is he going to have for breakfast? It's okay. Take a balloon and fill it with glitter. Make some slits along the outer balloon. Now fill it up with glitter water before tying it up. It's a Yoshi egg stress ball. It's even got spots like a real Yoshi egg. I just know these will cheer Yoshi up. But back to breakfast. Are we ordering out? What's under this mystery box? Flowers. Pretty, but not exactly Mario's style. Cut out some white circles. And add to a pair of white slippers. Put them together and it's a fire piranha plant. <laughs> then along it came a spider. Hey, careful, you're toast. Uh, oh, your photo's all messed up. Looks like Peach is in need of a makeover. Draw different patterns around this cup. Anything you can imagine. And now Peach can get a new dress. Just like that. Wow, it's our own little Mario world. I guess it's time for the big unveiling. Hello, Mermaid Peach. Sit on your throne. And the piece de resistance. Your new crown. Uh, just give it a nice regal shape. And add some glitter and gold. Don't forget a few crown jewels. Now it's time for your crowning glory. Ooh, she likes the toys we've made too. Let's take this ghost hour for a spin. Don't worry, it doesn't bite. It's just shoes. Yeah, I think Mario can be pretty sweet too. So, did Mario get the girl in the end? What do you think? Oh, delicious apple. Wait, it's got tiny bite marks. Hope it's not that vampire bunny again. Wait, I think it was a cat burglar. It's a perfect match. So, that's that. 
So's that. And that. Guess there's no such thing as a perfect crime. Instant cats. Just add water. <laughs> and they say cats don't like water. <laughs> Let's just sneak on by. Uh -huh. Nothing to see. Home free. Oh, coochie coo. <laughs> this is going to be a great day. Oh, I jinxed it. Hmm. This bed could use a makeover anyway. <laughs> Remove this wood. Add a panel to the side. Oh, anyone getting dizzy? A fresh coat of paint fixes up everything. All three walls. Let's see what we can do for the outside. A stencil pattern. Let's spread on some paint. Who says we need a brush? Besides, this is much faster. Peel off. On second thought, a brush can take care of the little details. Look, a cat face. As if you didn't guess who this was for. Hmm, this hole looks scratchy. And not the kind cats like. This cat door will help make an easy entrance. And with the help of these toothbrushes, the cats will get the scratches they like. Let's take a quick tour, shall we? This grass carpet will please the wild cat inside your pet. What else can we add? Hmm, an old pizza box? Cover with tape, and you can make a few steps. Steps right to the cat's own private bathroom. Meet the new and improved litter box. Now, what else do cats like? How about this? Take some rope and twist it around a base. Tie it so it's nice and tight. And your cat has a new scratching post. What else? Maybe they'll like that pigeon. Oh, even better. Take a desk drawer, add pillows, cushions and some toys, and it's a brand new bed. Here's something we can add to the wall. Now your cats have their own private television. Oh, it's getting hot in here. You know, the cats might want a drink. So, let's give them their own fountain. After all, it's easy to get hot when you can't take off your fur coat. Always smart to try things out before trying on the cats. Now that they have water, they might want something to nibble on too. And we're going all natural with cat grass. And there's plenty of room for a bowl full of cat chow. But let's keep the fridge stocked with wet food, just in case. Everything's really coming together. Let's add some more toys. Well, he's off to Wonderland. What's down there anyway? Ooh, candy. Oh, this bowl should fill up the hole. It's the perfect place for some cat toys. And if the cats are feeling a bit hungry at playtime, 
This toy's the perfect thing. Just add food. See, they'll get a treat when they spin it around. That'll keep them active. <laughs> hey, can we borrow this pillow? Now take some tights and cut them up. We need an X shape with some material in the middle. Tie each of the two opposite ends together. It's like a bed and swing all in one. Let's test it out. You know, these buttons can help get their point across. They can tell us when they want water, food, or even playtime. It's a bit too small to be a staircase. But we can still use the base. Attach to the wall, and we've got stairs after all. Hey, you're not using this giant bucket, are you? <gasps> Thanks! Huh? Now that we've cleaned it out, we'll cut out an opening. Huh, what else do we need? How about more toys? You can never have enough cat toys. And we can use them for a project. Hot glue them to the patch from earlier. You remember from the hole? Add them to the bottom of our can for a soft cushion. Now break out the power tools. We're drilling some holes. After making a few, run some thread through them. It's kind of like a checkerboard pattern. The cats are going to be so happy. Where are they anyway? I uh, think you've got a little something there. Oh, that gives me an idea. Add hot glue, press it down, and it's as good as laminated. Perfect for keychains or personalized collars. <laughs> this cat toy's interactive. Let's add it to our collection. <laughs> Cats sure have good taste. This looks fun. <laughs> Cat food? Maybe we should leave some things to the cats. Oh, it's just a toy. Huh? And we've got the perfect place for it. You know, it's a little small. We need to think bigger. Let's get a large glass container filled with water. Fill with stones and marbles. Add a plant. And the finishing touch, these cute little fish. I spy with my little eye, well, her eye, eyes, a plastic bottle. Empty it and cut it up. Take the bottom and hot glue some string in the middle. Now use the string to reattach the two pieces. Add a pom-pom to the top and fill with cat chow. Hang it up. More snacks? These are going to be some lucky cats. Cool. A laser for our cats to catch. Let's try it out. Either it's the laser or she needs to clean her pores. Hard to catch? Just what we need. What's on your head? It's like a fidget spinner. Let's add to the wall. What can't be improved with the addition of stickers? These pictures will help give it a more homey feel. Some more toys. Cats sure know how to live. Maybe we can put this tablecloth to better use. As the curtains for our brand new cat hangout. Yeah. This is where all the cool cats come to play. Great place for a nap. 
You gotta for a big day of sleeping. Still, look at all the fun stuff to do. Eat grass. Use stuffed animals as a floor. Or just relax. Looks like someone's ready to play too. Or maybe just stretch. You gotta love all the accommodations. And there's still so much more to explore. Who needs steps when you have a giant scratching post to climb? Unwind, watch a little TV, have a drink. Oh no, he's found the cats. I mean, what cats? Oh, it's love at first sight. Meow, horrific stuff. Catch you next time. Time to take out the trash. Meow? Oh, a kitty. Let's take you home. Just remember, we should probably keep this a secret from mom. Yeah, she's not exactly a cat person. Speaking of cats, where is she? Better find her before mom. Hey! We need to kitty proof this room. Cut out a hole in the table. Now grab a glass bowl. We're making a giant fish tank. Complete with underwater flora. Of course, for anything to be underwater, you're gonna need some water. Now, grab some pieces of cardboard and use them to cover the sides of the table. What else can we use? Like a handy dandy dish sponge. Take some scissors and cut it up into a nice arc shape. Now dip in some paint and get stamping. Pretty soon, it'll look like fish scales. <laughs> now let's shine a light on things with our mini lamp. In fact, let's add a bunch. Next up, let's grab some old curtains. Lay it down and cut a hole. Now lay down some turtles. And hang them right under the lights. It's a perfect sight for you and Kitty to enjoy. Hey, don't you want your snack? Cut out a paper plate rim and hang it up. Give it a watery touch and add some treats. Don't forget, cats need their greens too. Besides, cats really dig them. Why don't we collect it all? Soil is a terrible thing to waste. Seeds have to go somewhere. Don't forget to water them. It's your cat's very own snack corner.
Wait, what's your cat up to now? Ooh, I think she needs a bed. We'll need something soft, too. Ooh, a towel. I'm sure she's not going to need it. Now let's lay it down and roll it up. And fold it into a circle. Now take some tape and cover it up. Until it looks like a giant lifesaver. It still needs something soft inside. Perfect, a soft shirt, just in time too. Cause someone needs a cat nap. Oh, ouch! Look, it's seashells. The perfect thing for decorating. Like this clear plastic container. This could use a line of pearls around the rim too. It's a treasure chest with undersea camouflage. Fill it with sand. Grab a shovel. And it's a brand new litter box. Next up, grab a plastic bottle. And attach a string with beads. Hold it up. It's a nice jellyfish. It'll be your cat's new favorite toy. Just hang it up within reach. Wow, it's snowing. Inside? Wait, it's cotton. Where is it coming from? Uh-oh, she's got a cat scratch fever. We gotta fix this. Grab some tubes. And spin some twine around them. Now poke some holes in the lid. And add some feathers inside. It's your brand new palm tree scratching post. Anyone else in a crafting mood? Well, go to the kitchen for some pasta. I know it's fun to try new recipes. But maybe you should order some pizza. Now, take the pasta and hot glue them to the pieces of cardboard. Now let's paint these shell clusters. And soon, we've got a coral garden. Let's show them off by adding them to our new cat water fountain. Not thirsty? Well, maybe you're hungry. Guess it's all in the presentation. Take the kibble piece by piece and form it up into a new shape. Like a cute little turtle. He's crunchy, but he's got a soft shell deep down. Look, it's a whole family. Then again, I can see your cats clearly just eat. Well, it's not gonna scoop itself. Ooh, what a cute little paw print. Careful now, add some shells inside. And use a glue gun to save the shape. Aw, it's just what our kitty collar needs. Now cover your aquarium with tulle fabric. 
complete with a fishnet design. Add some cute little seashell fish too. Wow. <laughs> Come on, kitty. It's time for the grand opening. There's things to play with and places to sleep. Let's see how you look in a fishbowl. Wow, you can almost be a fish. Let's hope mom thinks so too. Uh-oh, she's got her glasses on. And I think she wants a closer look. The cat's out of the bag, but it's okay. I think she's a kitty convert. <laughs>